Hello guys, today we're going to unbox and review the Kid Flash figure from McFarlane. But before we continue, don't forget to hit that like button, share this video, comment, subscribe to my channel, and hit that notification bell so you'll be updated when new content comes out. Now here's the side of the box. Here's the back showing the artwork for the monitor. Here's the other side of the box. Here's the bottom. Now you have the top. Here he is out of the box and you see the figure, the extra hands and the legs of the monitor. Let's check the articulation. So the head moves side to side, all around, up, down, up, down. Then you have your shoulder articulation. You have your bicep swivel also. And now you have your elbow articulation. You have two joints there. See? And then you have your wrist articulation. Now you can change the hands if you want to. Here's the ab crunch and the waist movement. that here's your knee ankle articulation you have your toe articulation see that here's the split the kid flash figure looks rather bland maybe it's the color and quality of the paint that creates that impression the chosen colors look drab to me and make the figure look cheap. The paint looks faded from the get-go. McFarlane should have chosen a more dynamically designed character instead of Kid Flash. He looks like he will only be bought because of the monitor parts. The sculpt is acceptable with the hair being the best part of this figure. I like how the strands of hair were executed. The articulation is standard McFarlane articulation for humans which is good for a lot of poses. For the accessories, you get an extra pair of hands and that's it. I think this figure deserves lightning effects which the other Flash figures got. This figure is kind of a mediocre release and it seems that the only reason to get this is if you are a fan or you want to complete the monitor. So that's the review for the Kid Flash figure from McFarlane. This has been Kulas for Tambe Reviews. Thank you for watching. Keep on playing.